Hey everybody, welcome to Cinefix Review Roundup, our new take on reviews where we share what we think about a movie as well as what other critics from around the internet are saying so you get a good idea what everybody's saying about it. This week, we're talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey everybody, what's going on? Clint and T here. We got a chance to go see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 this week. Volume 2 is, of course, the continuing adventures of Star-Lord and Drax and Gamora, Rocket Raccoon and Little Baby Groot Don't call this him time. a raccoon. All right, just Rocket. And this time around, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. Right? A little bit, a lot more emotional, I would yeah. say. But I have to confess, I did not enjoy this one quite as much as the first one. And I think it's mainly because I liked the first one so much that here, where they were trying to kind of recreate the things that worked, I think they leaned into that a little bit too much and it became self-indulgence, you know? The music, the comedy, those sort of fun aspects of the first one, they really leaned hard on that in this one and I think it kind of hurt it. For me, I feel like it was every bit as good as the first one. It's the simple fact that we've seen it before already. Yeah. It's the same, the, the type of humor is the same, uh, the characters uh, were the same, some of the, some of the jokes were even the same, mm -hmm. but we saw it once three years ago. And I think this could have also very easily been the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, like thematically. Like, sure. And it would have blown everybody's minds if this was the first time that we met the Guardians of the Galaxy. Because frankly, the, the first Guardians of the Galaxy had, had a fair share of issues, it was just so damn charming that yeah. none of us cared about it. Yeah, I think it came out of nowhere to be as good as it was. Yeah. It was sort of a low expectation situation because it is such a C-list property from the Marvel Universe. I don't think anyone expected it to be as good as it was. And because it was good and people didn't expect it to be, that kind of elevated it to great. Right. But most of what Volume 2 brings uh, that the first one didn't is, is this idea of family. The first one had some of that in there, like a bunch of sort of loners that, yeah, a bunch of of loners that come together and, and really start to care about each other. And this one really doubles down on that with the presence of Kurt Russell as uh, uh, Ego, the living planet, who is Star-Lord Chris Pratt's father. And so everybody in the cast gets to have some family issues. It's mm -hmm. Gamora and Nebula, their, their sisterhood uh, comes up and all the issues stemming from that. Uh, you know, Rocket and Yondu have an interesting relationship. I mean, everybody gets to have a familial relationship with somebody else. But my favorite actor slash character is actually Sean Gunn in this one. Yeah. I think he did a really great job. His character plays a larger role in this one rather than just being kind of standing next to Yondu a couple times like he did in the first one. I feel like he actually brought legit acting chops and, you know, no small parts, as I say. He really did a lot with what he was given. Ultimately, I feel like this movie was a really... Uh, a really good time. Mm -hmm. It was it. It sort of unfairly suffers from the fact that we've already seen that good time once before. Right. Which I don't. I don't think makes this uh, a bad movie or worse than the first one in any way at all. I think just where you come down on how much you enjoyed Guardian, the first Guardians, and how much more of exactly that thing you want mm -hmm. is how you're gonna come down on volume two. I will never really know because I'll never be able to relive my life and have seen this one completely divorced of seeing the first one. If but only. I think I think that that sort of like winking at the camera a little too much is what hurt it for me. So while I give the first one a solid B plus, A minus, this one's more of like a B, B minus. I think it gets exactly the same score as the first one. We'll agree to disagree. Fine. So that's what we think of Guardians of the Galaxy. So now we are going to travel around the internet and look at what some of the other critics have been saying also. These oh, are some of the some hot takes Hot takes from uh, some more some more traditional print type uh, type movie critics. So this first is, of all. This is going to be fresh for me because I have not heard any of this. Here we go. Let's get into it. From Owen Gleiberman at Variety. Shot for shot, line in line, it's an extravagant and witty follow-up made with the same friendly, virtuosic dazzle. Yet this time, you can sense just how hard the series wizard of a director James Gunn uh, is working to entertain you, maybe a little too hard. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is an adventure worth taking, and the number of moviegoers around the planet who will want to take it should prove awe-inspiring, but it doesn't do... <clears throat> But it doesn't so much deepen the first Guardians as offer a more strenuous dose of fun to achieve a lesser high. Spot on, Glebes. We're friends. T agrees with Gleiberman there. Yeah, that's that's the the idea. It's it's more of the same, just not quite as, as fresh as well the done. second time. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, Robbie Collin from the Telegraph UK, going across the pond mm, for this fancy. one. Uh, Robbie Collin says Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 has a, quote, sense of goofy euphoria that runs through everything that's good in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which inches even further to the end of the limb the original Guardians film went out on in 2014. Take note of the Volume 2 and its title, too. It feels less like a sequel than another yarn from the annals, as if you'd pulled a forgotten no, comic anals. book. Agree to disagree. <laughs> if you pulled a forgotten comic book anthology from the shelf, blown the dust off, and dove in. So he, I, I think, again, these it's it's in that same neighborhood of like, yeah, it's more of the same. It's uh, good, but, but it's, it's the same thing. But it's the same thing. And so Robbie Collin the from the UK seems to be a little like it's sort of warm blankets him in that regard. Um, Mashable Zone, Angie Han. Says hey that it, quote, serves as a reminder of why it is we keep coming back to these movies, referring to Marvel movies in general. Even as we know every single time that the heroes will prevail and the world will not end, it's the characters, stupid. Uh, so yeah, Angie's there. I, I think I agree with her in that so much of what makes this a compelling universe, like, yeah, it's really shiny and pretty to look at, but these people are fun. Yeah. They're a blast. And, and we didn't mention Drax yet. We didn't. Drax is is unhinged yeah. in this movie. Anyway, uh, the last one we have here, Chris Hewitt from Empire Magazine. First Guardians of the Galaxy's chief weapon was surprise. And he goes on to say, but when you've lost the element of surprise, following that is no easy task. Happy to report, though, bar a few last act wobbles and the odd tonal shift, Gunn has done it again, crafting a sequel that keeps the focus on the characters we fell for the first time around while pumping up the volume. Uh, again, everybody seems to be on the same page yeah. about more of the same, it's good stuff, but it's more of the same. I feel validated right now because uh, <laughs> these are pretty much my exact thoughts and these people are proper film critics yeah. saying, hey, here's what we think I do and we agree with T. <laughs> I do enjoy, though, that Chris did point out a few last act wobbles and an odd tonal shift because that does happen. And mm -hmm. I do think Marvel in general has always struggled with their third acts. Mm -hmm. um, and this one, like, it turns on a dime. Yeah. Like, there's a, there's a thing that happens towards the end of the movie and it just like, oh, we're going that way now. Mm -hmm. um, it is I, abrupt. And I did, but again, because this movie is so charming, I didn't think about it and literally until this morning. We saw it last night and I thought about it this morning and I was like, oh, wait. Like, and it ultimately it doesn't bother me that much. But it's, it yeah. is a very strange thing that happens. So, so it is, it does get a little wobbly, as Chris Hewitt says. All in all, it's a great time and you're gonna go see it and you're gonna have fun. All right, everybody, that is what we think. That is what a lot of other people think about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. Click like and subscribe. Stick around for more movie stuff right here on Cinefix.